Hello everyone, in this video I will guide you through the new instructions to increase cash on XBMC. First of all, I want to address that this does not in any way, shape, or form increase the speed of your internet. I don't know why some people believe that to be the case. What this does do is allow a video to buffer more than it does by default. In most cases, it will buffer until completion. This is very helpful for people with slow internet, allowing them to pause a video and come back to it at a later time. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and add the XBMC Hub repo. To do this, you need to go to System, File Manager, Add Source, and you want to enter the following address. Fusion.xbmchub.com Hit Done. Then you want to enter a name for this source. I name it Fusion. And you want to hit OK. Now you want to go back and select Settings. Select Add-ons. Select Install from Zip File. And you want to look for that repo that we just added. Now here you want to go to the folder XBMC repos. And you want to scroll down until you find XBMC hub. And this is what we are looking for. You want to go ahead and select that and wait for it to be installed. You will get a message that says add on enabled. At this point, you can go to Get Add-ons, select XBMC Hub, select Program Add-ons, and now you want to install Maintenance Tool. When you get a message that says that it has been enabled, you can go ahead and go back to the main menu, select programs, and open up maintenance tool. Select continue, select OK. And at this point, you're going to do two things. First of all, you're going to scroll down to XML backup. and you're gonna hit the backup button. On this screen right here, you wanna select OK, and you want to specify a backup location. You want to select that, and it should be straightforward from there. After you have done that, select OK. Now you go back and select System Tweaks. From here, you wanna go ahead and select Zero Cache. Select yes, and you are done. You have successfully increased the cache of your XBMC installation. To confirm if this actually worked, you can go ahead and go to File Manager, go to Profile Directory, and here you will see your Advanced Settings XML file. Once you add that file, you want to go ahead and restart XBMC. And now you can continue to watch your videos. That is it for this video. I hope you guys found this information helpful. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.